Welcome to Shoveled Crude to a Friday the 13th special edition of Disheveled Panels. Today, I'm bringing to you a review of the Wild Storm book from 2008. It's a two-issue series. If you've watched any of my content in the past, you know that I crave a Jason and Snow story. Just crave it. This book gives it to you. I absolutely loved it. Badlands tells a story in two different time periods, one a Wild West era and the other a modern 2000s era. During the flashbacks, you really, really hate Ben and his brother. Oh my god, those dudes, you want to see them get slashed up. And then in the modern era, you have a couple friends that are went out hiking. Little did they know the snowstorm was going to come. They have to take shelter in a cabin in a woods in the snow. It just so happens that cabin is, well, in Crystal Lake. Ron Mars really weaves a very good tale set in the two periods here. Uh, I very very much enjoyed them. Uh, Mike Huddleston's art is kind of reminds me of like Humberto Ramos. Ah, I probably slaughtered that name, guys. I am so sorry. I always slaughter names around here. I'm sure you know uh, Humberto. I'm sure you do. I mean, you, if you read like 2000s uh, comic called The Crimson, he also did a lot with like Spider Man. His style reminds me of that. From the first issue, my favorite panel would be a series of panels that reveal Jason. God, that's beautiful, isn't it? And then in the issue number two, I captured a few of the panels in this one because it was like, no, this is my favorite. No, this is my favorite. But then ultimately, I had to go with this one. It gave me the whole, here's Johnny vibes. It was just, I love it. All in all, this, this comic is freaking great. I don't believe this was ever collected in a collected edition. And if there is a collected edition out there, I don't think it's available anymore because I couldn't really, couldn't really find it. But if you have the opportunity, go out to your comic shop. See, look at their back issues. They may have this thing. This story is amazing. Just, can we just appreciate these covers? Like issue number one, who needs snow angels when you can make bloody Jason mask? I hope you guys have a very lucky Friday the 13th. Go ahead, cuddle up with a nice Friday the 13th movie, get you a pumpkin spice latte, and stay spooky and keep it disheveled.